Good evening, Chairman and members of the Judiciary Committee. I'd like to start off by thanking you for this presentation. My name is Meghna Mahdi. I'm a medical student at Alfred Medical School and a co-leader of our chapter of Medical Students for Choice. Today, I am speaking on behalf of the Brown University Chapter of Medical Students for Choice to express strong support for the Reproductive Health Care Act of 2017, House Bill 5343. As physicians in training and future women's health care providers, we feel strongly about protecting the right to abortion because significant evidence demonstrates that illegalizing abortion leads to significant negative health consequences for our patients. History has shown us that making abortion illegal does not diminish the rate of abortion. Such legislation actually serves only to increase the number of unsafe abortions, which ultimately threatens the lives and well-being of women. The American Medical Association's Council on Scientific Affairs shows that the legalization of abortion with Roe v. Wade played a significant role in the reduction of the mortality rate from 4.1 to 0.6 per 100,000 abortions between 1973 and 1997. This change is a significant de decrease in mortality and shows that the dangers of associated with abortion can be primarily avoidable. In 1994, the New England Journal of Medicine stated, unfortunately, the prevention of death from abortion remains more a political than a medical problem. As future physicians, we are convinced that a legalizing abortion compromise patient safety and cause harm to our patients. Second, surgical and medical abortion are actually extremely safe procedures, contrary to what many anti-choice groups claim. In fact, studies have shown that abortion is safer than many other common medical procedures, including live births and wisdom tube removals. A study by physician investigators Grimes and Raymond from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, found that mortality rates for abortion per 0.6 deaths per 100,000 abortions compared to 8.8 .8 deaths per 100,000 live births. Another study by Dr. Ushman colleagues at the University of California, San Francisco, also found that only 2.1% of abortions result in complications, whereas wisdom tooth removals and tonsillectomies had complication rates of 7% and 9% respectively. Not only does making abortion illegal present dangers to women's health, an overwhelming majority of Rhode Island residents support making abortion legal. In fact, according to a study by the Pew Research Center that was cited in an earlier testimony, 63% of Rhode Island residents support keeping abortion legal. Medical Students for Choice is a part of that 63%. Though Roe v. Wade is currently upholding the legality of abortion on a federal level, Rhode Island, as a state, must support and uphold a patient's right to legal and safe abortion. Thus, we call on our elected officials in the House Judiciary Committee to push forward on the Reproductive Health Care Act of 2017, HB 5343, in our hearing today. Thank you.